Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Jackson Generals and the... Into the box, Caden Foreman. He also had three hits in the win last night. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well, he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Gone! Solo shot here to left. Fourth home run for him on the season. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Digging in, Caden Foreman. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Line drive to left. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits. One error in the inning and a couple of men left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Wahoos are on top one to nothing. Caden Foreman will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. Ferrillo is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning. Digging in once again, Caden Foreman. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kayuri Mea earns win number four on the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Adrian Crespo pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Ted Medeiros wraps it up for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to MLB The Show in this present. At the plate, Hildemaro Vargas. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Foreman sprinting after it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? You know, Matty, when I look at this lineup at first glance, the fact that they're landing. Stepping into the box, Caden Foreman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Cabrera will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Caden Foreman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Cabrera is in pursuit. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. One hit, one left. Three innings complete. Jackson leads this one one to nothing. 
stepping up to the plate. Jimmy Meyer Leading comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Jimmy the wind up Meyer. and the 0 2 pitch. This one skied out toward right. Foreman has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here now is the pitcher, Stephen Weldon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Hildemaro Vargas. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Heading out towards shallow right. Foreman is over. One out. Digging in. Caden Foreman. He flew out in his last at bat. Caden Foreman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Striding in once again, Caden Foreman. For Pensacola. Right fielder, Caden Foreman. First delivery to him on the way. Back up the middle. Vargas up the middle. And there's one down now. Close one tonight. Two to one the final score. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Cody Reed claims the win out of the pen. His first. Game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on. Striding into the box, Tony Kennedy. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Waylock will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Digging in, Christopher Negron. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Second baseman, Christopher Negron. Popped him up. Boswell ranging into shallow right. He can't get to it. This one's down. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. Stepping in, Caden Foreman took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Foreman. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit to third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Obvious pitch recognition right there. OO changeups usually get guys out in front, but he was able to stay back, recognize it, and drive it for a base hit. At the plate, Jimmy Meyer. He got oh, called out on strikes his last time through. Jimmy. Meyer. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Foreman on the move. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready for another chance? Chris Ferrillo. He flew out in his last at bat. Chris Ferrillo. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it there safely as he fires off the fourth with a leadoff triple. Other than a home run, there aren't. All. Now at the plate, Hayden Leading Foreman. He'll inning. lead things off here in this one-run contest. Foreman. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Zavala, one down. Digging in to try it again, Caden Foreman. He's ready, here's the first offering. 
Oh, that grounder got him. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but... Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christopher Negron. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Foreman is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number one. Digging in now, Caden Foreman. He's two for three thus far. Caden Foreman. First pitch of the at bat. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Ryan leads off first with one away. High and deep to right center. Kennedy is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Striding in, Jimmy Meyer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Stepping in, Jimmy Meyer. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Foreman back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. 5-2 the final score tonight. Pensacola led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Tyler After a brief trial move, this prospect is being returned to his original role. It's welcome news. A coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position.
It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Caden Foreman. One. His average Early coming in one. way up there in the 380s. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Runners off for second. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ferreira is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Richard Rios. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. Absolutely come out and force the issue of this inning, Matt. A hit here could really. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now to the plate, Caden Foreman. He flew out in his last at bat. Caden Foreman. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Digging in and looking for more, Jay Ponce coming off the clutch two run single his last time up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made. Settling in now, Caden Foreman. Caden Foreman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Dan, from a pitcher standpoint, that's a fact. So stepping in, Felipe Oliveros. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. The defers. Foreman loves it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now in the box, Caden Foreman. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Foreman. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Rios on the move and the inning is over starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit so here's the cleanup hitter Caden Foreman and these guys are making a little push here you have to like the effort despite the odds yeah you really do Matt look they still have a significant hill to climb but hey they string a couple of hits together here and all of a sudden this thing feels doable on to first and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over and tonight's ends at a six to two finish the Smokies and our situation is we welcome you to this one runners at first and second here with two away in the inning stepping up now Caden Foreman he's newly entered into the ball game so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Now the relay home. The tag, but it's not in time at the plate as he scores to make it 4-2. to two. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. Four to two with the final score tonight. The Blue Wahoos jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Carmen Gill earns his fifth winner of the year. Ted Medeiros records the save, his 14th. The stars of tomorrow. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Caden Foreman, runner in scoring position with Sukan. First pitch of the at bat, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. And ending in the books. Standing in, Caden Foreman. Here's the first pitch to him. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. toward right center and that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances 
I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock, and in today's game, wherever... Stepping no, into the box, Caden Foreman. Right. He singled Caden. his last time up. Foreman. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. He had a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Caden Foreman. He got on top of one. It was a ground out Foreman. victim last time. Here comes the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Pereira moves over, and that retires the side. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left. Into the box now, Jacob Henneman. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Gets the ground ball to first. There's one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Tonight's game comes to an end, 5-1 to one, the final score. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kayuri Mea earns his fifth winner of the year. So that'll just about... And we'll welcome you into our ball game as we find ourselves with the bases empty and nobody out in the inning. In now, Caden Foreman, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Olivero takes it in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Ted Medeiros comes on from the pen. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home, so this was a big win to win at home. Welcome to MLB. So striding in, Rich Ferreira, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Right fielder. The windup and the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. So digging in now, Hayden Foreman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. So coming to the plate, Caden Foreman. He reached on a single in his first try. Foreman. First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hanneman giving chase, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And the runner is in from second. And not in time as the second run scores. Man, he was not messing around here. Sitting on the first pitch he saw and drove it to the outfield, bringing in both runners and putting himself into scoring position. It's great to see a guy that's aggressive at the plate when he's got a champion. Into the box now, Jay Holmes. He drew a walk his first time up. High pop up. Foreman is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Ready once again, Caden Foreman he drove in two with a double in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And it's gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number five on the year as they move on top four to nothing.
Well, this game is definitely out of the norm from this guy. I mean, his ERA is in the twos, and they're just hammering him all over the yard. That earned run average will be on the rise after this one. The one-two. One, one, one. Be a drag bunt. He gets it down. Throw to first in time, but the safety squeeze there gets him a run. Now at the plate, Hayden Foreman, and he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Salgado is off of first with two away. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. Another base hit. How about the game he's putting together? Now four for four in this one. And a relay to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Clichés are around for a reason. And that hit right there is a reason they say baseball is a game of it. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Blue Wahoos led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Tyler Molly earns the win his second. Ted Medeiros earns the save out of the bullpen his 16th of the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Van. The evaluation of minor league prospects is not only the business of team scouts. Sports agents do their homework as well. From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of MLB superstars will eventually emerge. Determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business.
This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits. So it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter coming on now with a runner at first and one gone. Now batter, first baseman, Caden Foreman. Line drive to center field. Rose is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Cody Reed enters to do the pitching and this. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matty, he definitely led the way. The game's future star. Ready now, Caden Foreman, runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Caden Foreman. First pitch on its way. Rips this one to first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, you never know when to. Standing in, Rod McCormick. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. Ground down the first baseline. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Digging in for his second at bat, now Caden bad. Foreman. First he came through with an RBI Caden single in his last Foreman. at bat. Hit on the ground out to short. To his left, Santos. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Caden now Foreman. A First hit in two point. tries so Caden far. Foreman. Mind to the right side. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Caden Foreman. Now batting, the first baseman, Caden Ready Foreman. with the first pitch, here it comes. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Rose sprinting after it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now at the plate, Christian Automaz. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The one two. He's on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. At the plate, Caden Foreman. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. To his left, Santos. Throw gets him, two down. So a big moment here and standing in, Russell Rose. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. He's ready, here's the 0-2 pitch. On the ground to first, can this be two? One there, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. 7-5 tonight's final. Pensacola came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Luis Cortez gets the win in.
It's time for Bay. Digging in, Caden Foreman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Caden Foreman. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cortez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, David Cortez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit down the line at first. To his left, Foreman. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. A chance now to take it. Into the box, Caden Foreman. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Digging in once again, Caden Foreman. He flew out in his last at-bat. Foreman. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sinking liner toward left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get. At the plate, Elliot Reed. Catcher, Elliot Reed. Here it comes on one and one. This is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Dave Britt. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. 0-1. Oh, here's the pitch. On the ground over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Stepping into the box, Caden Foreman. He singled his last time up. Foreman. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? There's one on the first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double. Coming to the plate now, Caden Foreman. He's one for four for the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Rose. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So disaster strikes here. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3, the final. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Minor League Baseball is... Stepping up to the plate, Caden Foreman, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Foreman. First pitch on its way. Line drive to left. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. I know we sit up here and talk about it a lot. Digging in, Dave Britt. He reached on a single in his first try. Game the one two Pick up the middle backhanded flips it underhand the second for one but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first striding into the box Caden Foreman he came through with an RBI single in his last at bat turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Ready for another shot now. Caden Foreman due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Kramer is there. One pitch, one out. Striding in once again, Caden Foreman. He flew out in his last at bat. A 
decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Gallego comes up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting. Patrick Elliott up the first baseline. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. A manager checks in with his ball club.
the Stars. Digging in, Gary Porter, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Porter. Soft liner to the right side, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man. Leading off the inning, Caden Foreman, and they'll need him to get something going here. Drilled on the ground is short. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. At the play, Caden Foreman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground is short. Ullman is there. And there's one away. Stepping in, Steve Ullman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ullman. Right side. Gets dirty and. He goes to first. He is out. Ready for another chance. Caden Foreman, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Foreman. Dribbled up the line. That's a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Karlick over to his left and the inning is over nothing across here this half so the lineup flips over and digging in Barrett Irizarry the 1-1 one, one. One, one, one. be a drag bunt he gets it down Foreman scoops it up and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out so a crucial moment here and standing in Caden Foreman and he does so representing the possible go ahead run into the corner and slicing foul. Oh and one here it comes. Oof. And it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. Oh and two now. Hey he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this A.B. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Biloxi came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. The game's futures. Carmen Gill will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Yeah, Matty, you take a look up and down this lineup. One thing jumps out, a lot of guys with some quality batting averages. They find themselves in the top third of the league in batting average. Digging in to try it again. Caden Foreman, runner in scoring position with Sukan. First offering on its way. Line drive to left. That's in there, base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a 7-0 contest. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hayden Foreman, he singled his last time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not now with the play, Caden Foreman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. And he is in there. 
Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his... Digging in now, Caden Foreman. Uh, He'll look to uh, keep uh, it going. Right. Three for four so far in the ball game. Line toward right center. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year.